Welcome back to this very special edition of Security Weekly, episode 400 in support of EFF, EFF.org forward slash donate. I did my donation <laughs> today. <laughs> Me too. Joff also left a donation in our bathroom. Joff is getting totally, very friendly. Totally different kind of donation. I love you, man. Joff <laughs> has had a lot of cocktails today. We've got a lot of very special people uh, both in here in studio. Uh, Joff is, of course, here. Larry is here. Now I'm special, all right. Jack Daniels here. Jeff Mann is here. On the lines via Skype, we still have Michael Santarcalangelo, who's uh, staying with us. We also have Space Rogue, who is back. Nope. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> in full camo. Classic, full camo. Where? I don't and see him. Cyber and War. And for cyber, cyber War. War. Geared up for cyber, cyber, War. cyber, cyber. And we have Jason Street wearing his uh, Hacker News Network sunglasses <laughs> for this episode. Jason is actually now works for, congratulations, Jason. Jason? Thank you. Jason. 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 Works for Anapsis. Who, uh, Wait, no, no, he doesn't no, work he for doesn't. He works for Pony Express, but this <laughs> God. And and Mike's got his uh, ISIS shirt on. He does. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm so Jason works I'll for Pony Express, and this segment is brought to you by Anapsis, the leading provider of solutions to protect ERP systems from cyber attacks. Customers can secure their SAP and Oracle business critical platforms from espionage, sabotage, and financial fraud risks. Visit them on the web at anapsis.com. That rounds out our sponsors. Again, I want to remind everyone. Go donate to EFF, EFF.org forward slash donate. Yep. Go to shop.securityweekly.com and get your fabulous hack naked t-shirts. You can get a pink one like like that one as well. I've if been meaning to ask, thing. are you PCI yeah. compliant with your shops? We're on <laughs> Shopify. Right, so, so and That's, this is that's probably, Shopify's fucking problem. <laughs> probably the last you will hear from me from this segment as we're about <laughs> to yeah. talk about. Well, I, I, I just want to make it noted that Space Rogue may have his camo, but I do have my bamboo uh, roll of the Sun Tzu quotes. So oh, I'm yeah, ready to baby. go. All right. <laughs> He's got his Jinsu knives, too, probably. I've got oh. my cyber keyboard. I'm ready to go to war. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. You guys Spe have been on the show all day, so you haven't heard about the crap that's been going on. Oh, yeah, we have. Wait, so oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Space Rogue? Is that why you wear a camo? <laughs> Space Rogue? Yeah, you're at yes. Cyber War. We're at Cyber War. Yeah. Space Rogue? I love the you. The president man. said so. I love you. Obama declared cyber war on North Korea today. We're, if you didn't hear it, that's what he said. We're yeah, hacking baby. back. No, I'm waiting for the call because really I know scared. I'm going to get drafted. So and I'm you've got your gear on. I'm ready You're ready. Go. He's ready. I'm ready. I Shit, I didn't, and I didn't drive the zombie defense vehicle today. You didn't. It's all, well, it's you better get it gassed up because we're going to need it. It's all, all four dude, of those dude, computers it, in North Korea it, are trembling right now. It, I mean, they're really scared. All four of them. It is gassed up and the Wi-Fi is ready to go. So what? So was that the was that the gist of it? Yeah, baby. That was pretty much it. We declared. Cyber that was war. basically it. He said uh, Sony made a bad decision and should have released the video. And now, of course, they're going to release the video under a different format, according to the latest news. And uh, basically, they said that so uh, there would be a proportional response at some point in the future. And he didn't say what it was. Uh, but yeah, he wasn't too happy with. North but guess Korea. what? We're Does in North Korea head. have. Uh, Movie studios? Do they have an internet? Yes, yes. as a matter of fact, they did because Kim Jong Il had uh, <laughs> directors captured who created uh, Godzilla movies. They took them as political prisoners and forced them to make a movie featuring <laughs> Kim Jong Il as the hero in a Godzilla movie. Isn't so he is the, he is the North Korean equivalent of, of uh, Ron Ron Jeremy. Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, he he did he did. At walk out of his mother's vagina as a fully formed human. And wow! He's, and he's never defecated. Wait, that must have hurt. He inv also invented For the her. hamburger. He also invented the hamburger. He did. <sighs> so, so that's pretty much the only news of the week right there. Is uh, <laughs> U.S. Exactly. declared that's war it. So on let's North talk Korea. About cyber war. Excuse me. My cyber question war. that I have on that whole thing about us declaring cyber war. There's no evidence. Korea, but does that mean Iran can? Uh, declare cyber war on us for they already had. They took out the uh, Sands Casino with the anti-WMD team. That was totally Iran sponsored. We didn't do anything about that. <laughs> Visual basic. <laughs> VB. Yeah, you know, I, I think the, the whole breach incident was really happening with Kim, Kim Jong's eel's mother, really. I mean, fully formed, walking at it, that was a breach. Pretty, pretty sure Kim Jong-il's the dad. What's this guy's name? 
Un. Kim Jong Un. 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 Yeah, okay, un. sorry. Un. Yeah, sorry. Thank you for the correction. Political, you know, He's number Un. Right. But either way, his, un. <laughs> his mother was definitely breached if he walked out fully formed. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he, did. He, wa he walked Aliens. out of his mother's vagina. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, now we've covered that. Why don't we get down okay. to business? Yeah, yeah. What are we talking about? We have business? What are, yeah, we, what about what about? are we talking about? I, I want to uh, ask Space Rogue where he got the helmet. Uh, U.S. Army. There's that Sergeant Rogue. To you, Mister. All right, Sergeant, <laughs> Sergeant Rogue. Where sir, did you, yes, where sir. Did you, where did you acquire the helmet? At, at uh, which Army Navy Division, surplus? Fort Ord, California. Oh. Kevlar. Yeah, well, that's because nice. you need that Respect. for cyber war, <laughs> right? <laughs> cyber nice. war. Yeah, uh, no, I got uh, my keyboard. Uh, I need to. I need to be protected from all those pings of death that are going to be uh, sent my dude, way. Those <laughs> bit, also, <laughs> those <laughs> bits do not get need to get through uh, your helmet. Uh, also, hey, I got my whiskey. All right, I got my I got my my phone and I got my keyboard. I'm ready to go. Also, what protects right. you uh, from the Smurf attacks? Ar Army, <laughs> not Marines. Wow! Wow! He just uses um, what is the counter color to blue? Well, a little bit of red and green. The Marines the Smurfs are, on, are gone. Uh, Windows XP. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Ken doesn't even know what to think about any of this. <laughs> So, what, what, now that we're entering the cyber, we were war, having a serious talk. What, what do we need? Are to, we? <laughs> were. <laughs> what do we need to do to prepare for cyber war and the inevitable breaches that will ensue? You need to get camoed up like I am. Everybody must wear camo. And keyboard. And Everybody keyboards. Must wear camo. And keyboards. And keyboards. Have your spare keyboards and ready. Whiskey. And well, whiskey. What was it? Was it Levi? Now that they're going to do RFID fabric. So I, I guess uh, you're going to have to get a new camo with RFID. Yeah, I'm a little dated. I'm in a Woodland pants. Camouflage, and also, they don't use that anymore. Also new pants. This is, you know, 1980s technology. I was going to say that. That's, I don't, that's I don't think pre space is desert pants. anything. Right there. <laughs> pre desert. He, ne he never wears pants. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking more Honduras and uh, El Salvador. You guys don't know nothing about that. Granada. So. Yeah, Granada was before my time, actually. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. It wasn't before my time, <laughs> unfortunately. Whew. Okay. Wow, we got some old people. <laughs> <laughs> who was who was six there? Somebody was six last that was week. Chris. I don't know. Yeah, it was six. Yeah, Jack was significantly older. <sighs> yeah, but that's always the case. So I'll date, yeah, so there's I'll no other myself. news this week at all. Uh, Staples tried to release some crap about their breach, but nobody cares. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I oh, it's Staples. Oh. I can't uh, spear fishing. Bummer. I, I can't spear fishing. I just, I just saw something that was like Staples got popped for 1.2 yeah. million credit card numbers, and I'm like, oh fuck. That's Nobody probably cared. one of mine. Cause yeah, yeah, me too. Because right? Ho Home Depot <laughs> is this was the second time for Staples, though. Weren't they hit, yeah. did hit I don't know. Uh, before the really big one? All I can say was like, like Target, great. I have a fucking Target card. Home Depot, great. I have a fucking Home Depot card. Staples, I'm like, fuck, I use my credit card there. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> there you go again. At least uh, you know you got to give the credit card companies a little bit of cred that they're very serious about that fraud detection stuff. Um, <laughs> Sometimes yeah. a little over serious. A little over serious, but you know, I'd rather they be a little over serious, because boy, there's a lot of breaches going on right now. So you know, Jason mentioned the other big story that I think is probably more important than anything else that is probably getting swept under the rug with all the Sony masses. The ICANN breach. Oh yes, ICANN beer okay. fishing, old school. Mm. Yes, please. Which is uh, access to the the root DMZ servers, DNS servers. Yes, uh, that might be, that might pose a problem. Well, I don't think they got that because I. I, I I think that they they learned their lesson from the earlier breach, and it's like, and I think some of that was segmented. So I don't think they actually got into that deep of a of a compromise. It's wait, like, wait, wait. They were getting wait. they were getting user IDs and passwords of registrants, and uh, but those were cryptographically salted and hashed and everything like that. And they actually reset all of them. So I don't think they 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 actually got into the actual deeper inner workings of of ICANN. Knock on as much wood as you possibly can at the moment. Yeah, because what, their press what, what, release what, is pretty pretty damning. I think Paul they, still they, got they wood from uh, the press release said the earlier that they interview. Everything. At least that's how I interpreted it. So I no, hope no, no, they, wait, they didn't wait, get wait, space, in. space. Sure. Uh, do us a favor. Explain yeah. that for our listeners. Right, access to root DNS servers. Is that what you said? Yeah, uh, the root, the, basically the part that makes the internet work. Can yeah. you, well, you bring down oh, the on. internet? We, we, we all less. know that. <laughs> hold on, Space. It, yeah. it, does that mean that uh, hackers could take down the internet? Did in in 30, 30 minutes, minutes or, or less? less? Yes. 30 minutes or less. <laughs> That's yeah. wait, wait. Just checking. Okay. I, thought, I thought that was Kim Kardashian that could do that. Oh, uh, I thought it was Kim Dan Kaminsky. I'm you trying to be down. serious here. <laughs> I thought that was Dan Kaminsky, actually. I so. want space to give us the 101. What does that actually mean Job's for... Job's getting mean. I am. 
What does well, that actually mean? What does well, that actually if, mean? According to Jason, they didn't get that much access. I don't know. I have, I didn't really focus that much on it because I was preparing for cyber war. And no, 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 no. What does that mean for your mother? <laughs> what, mother. It means, it, it, what it means yeah, is basically dead, saying <laughs> that Can't order her when grocery you from go Peapod? onto a web browser, you're able to say a name, and that name goes to a server that says, Thank well, you, that Jason. name corresponds with this number. If you're able to intercept where that number is, you can then go say, oh, Facebook was supposed to be 2.2.2.2, but Evil Hacker now says, no, Facebook is now 4.4.4.4.4, which is what I own. So now, every time you just type Facebook in your address browser, it's going to go Alcohol. to the is that IPv6 uh, server. Yes. Five octets. Okay, yeah, so one so one what Jason fours. just said is breaking it down for people. Five. Shut the fuck up, Paul. Okay. <laughs> is <laughs> not your show. Paul. It's is, not your show anymore, man. <laughs> just take the true. mic away from him. Is that the it root, a really expensive <laughs> mic? I throw it on the ground. <laughs> it, the root DNS is the way to translate names to numbers. And Correct. If, if that is compromised, that compromised the entire function of the internet, and that's a very, can very I, serious can problem. You, can, can I, I just can I just interject? Uh, uh, the root <laughs> DNS servers don't actually translate names to numbers. They tell you which servers can translate the names. To okay, right, right. but okay, yeah. right, right. Details. Right. Right. I was right. trying to break it down to uh, grandma. Okay, we were, we're trying, trying to, to break it down to grandma to just for a minute. But root Grandma's DNS not listening. He, here's the here's the impact. Jack, can I get one of those? Can you DCC one to me, yo? No, no. Here's the impact. What? Oh I, my God, Jack! I would awkward hug you so hard in that that outfit right now. I would too. I really want to. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> We've all done that today. What that means is, a hacker, quote unquote, who compromises root DNS can. No, no, no. A cyber a warrior wouldn't do it. Uh, Jason, a give criminal. up on that. Just give up. A, a criminal. criminal. Thank give you. Up. Thank criminal you for the correction. Or an attacker would do that. Jason, thank you for the correction. So a criminal who <laughs> compromises root DNS would redirect the name servers for critical domains like bankofamerica.com or wellsfargo.com or Facebook. you pick it, facebook.com. So critical. To their own name <laughs> servers. Netflix. Netflix.com. Yeah, let's just don't forget the Better safe than Sony. Hulu. To their own name servers, and their own name servers would give false answers to deliver malware or whatever oh, no, they other would give, contact they, they, content they, they wanted would give to deliver. They would correct answers yeah. to requests to false resources. You guys are not taking me seriously, but I'm trying to actually <laughs> oh, tell right. people here what the yeah, fuck I, I, this is. Are you, are you trying to say it's really bad? Than the Sony breach, it's, the, the Jeff, it's really bad. It's really internet. bad. Everything My mom exactly, would understand yeah, that. Would be, that would be harsh it's if that really actually bad. happened. Mom and dad's in the nation... It's really, it's really bad. bad as as m as much as Joff is trying to retake the show, I think what Space Rogue just said is really uh, hit it. <laughs> space. Salient. Come on. Yep. And, 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 and Space Rogue, I, I I'm gonna give up on that word uh, sooner than you give up on that beard. So. <laughs> wow. That's a very sex. It's a very sexy. <laughs> I mean, beard. I gave up on that word five years ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I fought never, that fight for a never, long never. time. And I Why did I even bother? I'm still fighting. I'm giving up on cyber nope. too. So. Space, still Space. fight. Well, cyber's a lost cause, but I'm not giving up on hacker. Space, Whoa, Space Rogue cannot give up on the beard because he's going to have to go native pretty soon. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, 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 guys. I know our. I got a visual. I know our audience is largely geek, but we do have to remember to spell out what the impact of this is. And it's very, very serious. I totally agree. <laughs> I love you, Paul. I mean, the ICANN breach should be making a lot much more news than the Sony Definitely. breach. It's a the, big... Uh, it's, a, Staples breach. it's not a small deal. It's a big fucking deal. I, I mean, think the ICANN, ICANN is, uh, is a more highly valued target than a bunch of insider employees and stuff, you know, ripping Sony a new one. Yep, because despite you know the fact that we've declared war on North Korea over one IP address, or and those sorry, guys, it's up, we're up to a dozen now, I think. We my are. biggest, my biggest thing on that freaking thing is, do you know the, oh, the only problem that you had breaching <laughs> Sony's networks is stumbling over other people's recruits from the hackers that and attackers that were already there before the before you. Yeah. I mean, has that place was riddled with, about the with malware. Of breaches that Sony has been breached over the last couple exactly. years. Exactly. I'm not saying that freaking North Korea wasn't uh, breached them at they some point. One Who hasn't time. breached them? Who hasn't breached them? I'm mom. saying this current I'm pretty sure my mom was breached an insider them. threat, period. <laughs> it's like it was a personal attack. It wasn't on, like, nation state. 
That oh, was you like fighting this on yourself. Okay, my, it me. gets me. I'm dude. I'm on 30 hours without sleep and totally cranked up on some diet Pepsi and a lot of rage. Yeah, like God a damn bunch it. Of Armchair dude, generals and stuff on Twitter camera. going, "Oh my gosh! Oh no! Cyber wars! It's like North Korea. Cyber it's a bias. bunch of freaking BS." If you ask me, it's like. If you look, if you go back and look at some of the older news articles when it first started out, you talked about people sending out icons on desktops and text files and going after That's personal old school hacker shit. Exactly, and they didn't exactly. talk about that. That was, the the interview that was disgruntled all. employees. Exactly, and then some reporter got it out of their freaking the butt, going. Exactly, the press was like, "Oh wait, hold on, isn't that movie internet interview coming out with the yeah, North exactly. Korea?" Exactly, it was the press. And then, it's got to be the interview. And the freaking attackers are going like. Wait, that's now a great a idea. Hey, hey, San hey, hey Santa. Exactly. Let's wait, wait, wait. Feel, right feel free to jump oh in any time, my friend. <laughs> Jason, Jason, let me let me just ask you. And that's just a bunch of hype. And it, and and now we're in such a thing of weaving so much hype now, you we can't make it bro. not North Korea. We can't make it not North Korea <laughs> because, <laughs> every, <laughs> Jason, because Paul, of all the pundits. Paul, you got to pick else? up the mic so you, you got that 24-hour news channel. <laughs> the Jay, only Jay, good Jay. thing that's happened about this breach is that it sort of escaped the echo chamber just a little bit no, to no, scare no, no. mom and pop no, 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 CEO no, no, no. to go, no, 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 oh my no, no, gosh, no, no, maybe no, no. I should worry about security. No, no. Jason, wait. The worst thing about this breach, the <laughs> absolute worst thing, is that there will now be a new CFAA. There will now be a new DMCA. There will now be a new COBA. No, 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 no. no, 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 no we're going to get some second-rate movie instead of the interview. The worst, the worst thing is it, impact us all. The worst, people never, wanna, people all. The worst thing is that Space Rogue is warfare. wearing Let's old look at the TSA. Cow. There was a shoe bomber. <laughs> a failed attempt. Everybody take your shoes off. Then there was a liquid bombers in London. Failed attempt. Oh, you got to have three ounces now uh, on an airplane. <laughs> Despite the fact that there was five terrorists on each plane, five times three is 15 ounces, mother. Learn to count, and then you've got uh, the <laughs> underwear bomber. So hey, everybody, use a naked scanner. No, 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 the no. The terrorists no, no, no. realize they don't even have to succeed on an attack for us to freaking. Uh, Jason, jump back, to it. What's gonna back, happen. back off the ledge, dude. And spend <laughs> money <laughs> and, 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 and rob citizens of the rights. It, it's it's. Oh, you don't like the theater now? Oh, quick, everybody, do what they say. Just it's imagine if the shoe bomber had had the bomb in his underwear. We're what not we'd gonna have get a freedom girl. No, we're gonna get your packets inspected by the freedom police. Exactly. Right, right. right, right. J Jason. Damn, I yeah, love I, you, man. I, you have mummy a, issues, Jason. I'm just wondering. I, no, I need a hug. Rogue, you were supposed to turn that equipment in when you. Uh... This is this is all purchased on the block. Okay. Okay. Hey, and, you know, no, space, no. space Rogue, one of the biggest tragedies that's there is that you're wearing old school camo and not the yeah, new Yeah, old school camo. I, I, I do need to ask Jason a question. Uh, Jason, I got a full set of TV yeah. in the closet. Yeah, so Jason, really, at, f this is like borrowing a little bit from Paul, but from a celebrity parent perspective, <laughs> <laughs> what, are your, what are your picks? For oh, for my parents. parents would be Christina Hendricks and Pierce Bronson. Thank you. Damn. Excellent. Brosnan. Excellent. Sorry Glad for you, a preempt. Are we doing the five questions already? <laughs> no. I, Pierce Joff Brosnan is, and Charles Joff Bronson. Cut off. He's got together. He's <laughs> <drunk>. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just place Go version. home, Joff. You're drunk. Uh, except no, I, I am here. home right now. He is. My He's home fine. away from and, me. And uh, Christina Hendricks. Damn. Um. Well, I love that's that rant, I Jason. That was awesome, and I really this. And that's only on the condition that I was breastfed as a baby. Oh, Jesus! You were okay. So you have a <laughs> you have a booby fascination. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Lewis. Oh, we went over that. Already. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> are we recording that? I, I would like oh, yeah. to hand the microphone back to Paul because it really is his show. It, no, it's not. Wait, I no, got, it's not. I got yeah. it. Look who we invited on. He expects it to be his show. No. Is there a question? Is there a question here? What yeah. do you mean by that, Space Rogue? So, Santa, how does this make you feel? <laughs> good, good job, Larry. Good job, Larry. <laughs> I think the answer is horny. Slightly uncomfortable? <laughs> slightly uncomfortable. I, I, well, I, I think, uh, I think yeah, we just nailed it. Never let a good crisis go to waste. It doesn't matter anymore <laughs> how this got started. It, it doesn't matter. Exactly. It, all that matters now is that it bubbled up. And, you know, I, I just to be a little circular i mean joff made a great point when we we're talking about the dns i love you man <laughs> we have to be able to explain this stuff so other people get it so now when people say what do you think about sony if we say oh it was this it was ah, we've lost it. it doesn't matter because now who's going to think of the children what about the terrorists? The terrorists just <laughs> won. <laughs> children. So keep now, right? I mean we've we've had a do nothing congress in this country oh, now for i don't know 50 years or something which 
I happen to be a fan of. I like gridlock, but damn it, if we didn't just give them all a reason to galvanize around screwing us over. Mm-hmm. America. Think, think of the children. Uh, yeah. God think, bless th- them. Think of the children in their iPads. <laughs> No, I look, look, no, I'm totally. I, I think that's a great point. We have to bring up, we have to get better at communicating. If we yes. don't get better at communicating yes. what the actual issues are and the problems are, then people are going to still respond to these knee jerk reactions. And that's not on the press to learn how to understand us more. That's on us that's to on start us. A better <laughs> understanding and creating that dialogue with the press to start getting the proper information out there. Dave yeah. Kennedy you know what? The press is We need to talk, the Jason, we need to talk to him. four unnamed wait, sources wait, from the government no, that they exactly. want to listen to. Well, that, Jason, and, Jason. And we all know that's crap, but Dave Kennedy's a perfect example of someone who's actually talking in, in Jason, layman's have terms you and met actually people? getting in What they need, what we need to say, they're not going to listen to. What we need to say, they're not going to listen to. They're not going to hear it. No, 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 no the, the ultimate they question. It, it, it's a, it's a, it, that's a lazy response answer. Like, oh, there's a, there's let's, a progression bo- let's not even bother. Let's look, not even look, try. Look, the ultimate question is, is what I was just alluding to with the root DNS. It's like, okay, the root DNS was, was perhaps compromised. Let's put that scenario out for a minute. No, the no, quest- no but the, see, we didn't say, see, see, but that's the slippery slope. I went from saying that I don't think that was actually even compromised. Then you go to say, oh, it was potentially compromised. Now, the next time we have a reiteration of the conversation, it goes, it was compromised. And then that becomes the story. That's yeah. exactly uh, what happened hey, with the Sony hat. Hold, hold on a minute, Jason. Here, back back to this and it went through there. Back Jason's the fuck off the slope. I got, I got to finish the sentence. And the, sen- the, finish, the finish the <laughs> sentence is, what does that mean to your grandmother? What does that mean to your mother? What does that mean to your person down the street who is just using a web browser to surf the internet and we have to explain it in those terms if we want credibility you want to, you want to explain it we are now at cyber war with north korea <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I'm serious. but we need to we, talk that's what but we've we always been Obama at cyber war with exactly. north korea yeah. we need that's to talk at multiple it. levels guys we need to talk at multiple levels yes we can talk to our professional community yes we can talk to our educated corporate customer community but we also need to talk to the regular consumer community to say guys this is what it means this means that you're fucked when you go to look up www.facebook.com because it's yeah, going to go to to explain it to them. yeah we need to be real right and and say you know we're yelling for a reason and our reason yeah. is i have anger management issues it's obvious <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i mean look at all those swords okay i just completely lost my Look at all those. I'm trying to make a point here, and I think I've made it. So okay. Well, and my 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 point was they're not going to listen. We're not. If we're yelling at them, they're not going to hear us. Right. If we're dressed in camo, they're not going to hear us. No. Damn it. They'll hear me with my keyboard. They they can hear them. They just can't see them. (laughs) (laughs) If we're not wearing ISIS shirts, or if we are wearing ISIS shirts, they're not going to hear us. But yes, education awareness. We need to break it down, put it in simple language. We need to put it in simple language. Geeks don't do that very well. We don't do it very well. And look, if, I we, gave a if talk we did it, if we did it better, the money would come our way. I'm telling you, if we did it better, people would say, "We're willing to pay you to help us." Eh, maybe, maybe not. But just no, keep no, no, in mind, no. When it's we not say a maybe not. It's, it's a yes. Right, that's that's kind of a misnomer. What we really want is is mutual understanding, and, and there's there's a distinction between the two. Um, but but what comes out of a lot of this stuff, and I want to go back to the breach because I, I think there's the crisis part where we're we're gonna deal with that. How, I know that it's really cool now to say, wow, Sony caved. What's the likelihood it's just a really crappy movie, and this was the simplest, <laughs> best way for them to recover the money, right? They don't have to pay out as much for it now. They maybe just got an insurance thing. They now have Wait, wait, Michael. Well, no, they they were still running that ads that last point, night when they cut to commercial. Screw them for having lousy security. Screw them for having don't lousy management policy. And don't screw them the for trying to make a buck don't off of them for uh, putting out crappy movies and trying to collect insurance. Wait, hold on a minute. I'm not trying to blame the victim. I'm well, trying to uh, acknowledge the fact that the victim... Well, no, that's blaming the victim. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me just make my point. They had it coming. More yeah, they did. They had it coming. Seeing a new trend they shouldn't have been wearing the mini skirt. Cover. They shouldn't have been walking down the alley. Wait, wait, Mike, Michael, I think you're trying to make the point that that the breach was orchestrated in some No, f- no, 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 no. All I'm saying is that, is that one of the things that, that we have to be careful of is that every time there's a breach, we always go, 
look at this, look at this. Sometimes when companies take actions and they go, oh, well, due to the breach, we have to do X. Nah. It, sometimes breaches now are just fantastic cover. And, oh, and it lets us do stuff that we maybe work. would have been unpleasant before. That's all. That's all I'm pointing out. Like what? Yeah, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. Oh, all right. doing, oh, like doing, like trying to make the money off of it with the insurance. No, but the go key thing was the I, let's go back to Target. I keep pe seeing people celebrate. Well, you know, look at Target. If you don't, if you have a breach, your CEO will be fired. Uh huh. Right. Oh. That that we won't fired because of security. You won't get fired. Your stock won't go down. Really, there's no bad things that happen other than you have to release a statement. I've got. A, I mean, I've look got, at LinkedIn. I, LinkedIn is still around. Really? People. I mean, come on. Look at the history. I've got, I mean, I've got even, a solution to all these problems. Consumers forgive within a couple of months and go back to shopping. Right. Nobody. If you get a major breach, nobody cares. Six months later, everybody's forgotten about it. There's no regulatory control. There's no dip in your stock price. Hey, There's hold no on. CEO firing. Space. Nobody's going and, and to jail. Space, there but, is no downside. So why bother spending why? money in the front, uh, the front side? Well, Space, no. why? Part, of, part of the answer to just, that. Just send in Jason with his briefcase of doom and be over with it. Part of the answer to that is that the, the, the community, the world, the, the, the layperson, the non-geek, and even most of the companies that have been breached, I think they collectively have this – attitude that wow that could have happened to anybody i'm glad it didn't happen to me it happened to you you were the victim of something you know and we'll move on i mean there's a lot of forgiveness in there because there's this perception that it could and we've talked about it earlier today it could happen to anybody it could it's already happened we've said yeah we know that but the ceos of the world don't know that i used to have a ceo who used to tell me that he wasn't a target because he doesn't build rockets Despite the yeah. fact that he was processing credit card information. Okay. Seriously, this well, is what and, he believed. And I've been and to many companies that they don't right want to be secure. Saying, oh, we're not a target because we don't make movies. We're not a target because we're not as big as Sony. When, whenever I, sure, absolutely. Whenever I hear like that, people. I bring up the bike shop in Poughkeepsie. There, uh, back in 2001, <laughs> there was a bike shop, <laughs> a bicycle fuck? shop in Poughkeepsie. The guy put his web server on his uh, computer that it was in his shop because he thought, I'm just a bike shop in Poughkeepsie. What could be the harm? I'm just selling bicycles. It's like he got raided by the FBI because it turned into a wares and porn server. <laughs> it's like because it wasn't protected because that guy thought he was just a bike shop in Poughkeepsie. I tell people, it's like you think you can trust your neighbors because you live in a nice neighborhood, so you don't have to worry about locking the doors. Well, as soon as you step on the Internet, guess what? Your neighbors are Russia. Your neighbors are China. Your neighbors is Rhode Island. And some of those guys aren't very nice. West I think Virginia? I can see Russia from here. Oh, no, wrong coast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so that's, the right to, that's what you got to understand. you got to teach them that when you're on the Internet, you're now connected globally, not just locally. Yeah, but no, the perception has been being hacked is almost like winning the lottery. It could happen to anybody, but it didn't happen to me. Okay, sorry, uh, it it's happened the reverse to you. lottery. It, it, you only win if you did, doesn't well, that, happen. That, to you. Okay, okay. I want to bring up another still. topic, though, guys. Hold on a second. It's what the about Josh show? There's uh, another topic this week. There is. What about sharing of intelligence? Right. I mean, I think. Oh Jesus! A, Don't first, you have to topic. have intelligence. I'm just rambling right now. No, I'm not. First, you have to have intelligence. These Go. these different oh, corporate wow. entities, right, feel like they stand alone in the world because they have their own information to protect. They have their own agenda. They have their own, you know, business model. But they don't we, want other people to know how little they're doing, how poorly they're doing. Intelligence sharing is actually quite prevalent. Banking, for instance. Okay, they actually have a consortium expand, group that goes around and shares space, them, ex information. Expand, expand on that, please. So the banking industry specifically has a group, a consortium, I don't know the specific name of it, that, goes, that shares attack information. Something like, hey, we ISAC. saw this attack, we saw this type of fraud, we saw this, you guys might want to watch out for it. All right? Banking industry does that in and amongst themselves. Other right. industries, not so much. Right? Okay. Now, then you have in, uh, a whole other industry called threat intelligence, and I just... Spilled my whipski. Thank you very much. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> if you need to pick it up, pick it up. I did pick it up because okay. threat pick intelligence is just people think that SIM and IP reputation and uh, malware signatures is threat intelligence. That is not threat intelligence. That's SIM, malware reputation, uh, IP signatures. and what, <laughs> I got Preach it, brother. Stuff. Preach yeah, it, brother. That is not threat intelligence. And unfortunately, there's an entire industry now built up around this. And Lord. it has nothing to do with one or the other, but it's a great buzzword, and it sells a lot of stuff, and people like to spend money on it. So, oh, we just bought threat intelligence. Uh, yeah, we're going to be protected now. No, you're not. You're not any more protected now than you were before. You just maybe you know about it more. 
do you now, believe? I've, I've, yeah, but I've fill in the blanks, I'm bro. That's been the history of our industry. I, I was with you. I was with you on that one. Do you believe, take the banking example, do you believe there is some success in sharing that knowledge? There's uh, totally success. I, in I, the banking I, industry, yes. Yes. There, there has been proven success with uh, uh, other banks and stuff, you know, sharing the information of what kind of fraud is going out, what kind of specific phishing emails are being uh, generated, what kind of uh, ACH uh, wire fraud attempts are happening. It's like that does help the banking industry because they're sharing information. It's like sharing information, we have to, we have to understand it's like it's not showing what our vulnerabilities are. It's not showing where our failings are. It's helping to protect everybody else. I mean, we talk about trying to share information and how it uh, benefits people. And look at the freaking Department of Homeland Security that was supposed to bring in all the different government branches of, of law enforcement and, and intelligence to start sharing information. How did that work out for us? All right. Where the hell has the DHS been in this whole Sony thing anyway? Why is it the FBI show? Yeah, yeah. If we're so at this, cyber this, war, shouldn't DHS be involved? Joe, this was just because they're too busy. Well, up until today, it was a crime. This, 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 this was just, this was just reported. Oh! oh. 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 Dude, that oh. happened to me in episode 175. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah. So the, the Federal Bureau of Investigation confirmed on December 19th that the United States has conducted that the government of North Korea is the culprit behind the attack that has disrupted Sony Pictures Entertainment's business. That's from eWeek.com. Right, that was in. the FBI statement earlier today, which preceded the president's uh, speech uh, later in the day, where he basically said, uh, North Korea, you suck. We're coming after you. I don't believe it. I don't believe I it either, be but it's too late now. Yeah. It, the president said it. Like, it's going to happen. It's done. It's a fact. Like, it, regardless of whatever evidence it, there is or isn't, it doesn't matter anymore. This is the yellow cake uranium. Of uh, uh, this administration. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. This is remember the mean. Oh, I'm the only one old enough for that one. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Spanish floor there. <laughs> it's like, you were there. Oh, shit. <sighs> do you F bomb yourself when you bring up your own age? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Everybody's coming down now. Paul, this is your show, and you're sitting there taking selfies. No, I know, so I'm, I'm taking pictures of Joff spilling good. beer into his laptop. Oh. It's a very nostalgic moment. It, 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 actually, I, it didn't actually get into the keyboard, so we're it's good. A, I feel sorry a, for all the people that are just <laughs> listening to this and not a, actually watching go. the video. It's, <laughs> a, it's a Paul's Security <laughs> Weekly rite of passage to spill beer in your laptop. And I just went through the right. Unfortunately, I didn't spill beer in my own damn laptop. Someone else did for me. Mm. What was that? Hey, that guys. Was one of the Sands things. Yeah. Yeah. It's, been, it's been an awesome conversation. I've really enjoyed this. Um, I are love we ready to do five questions? Yeah, yet? we That's are. That's my only contribution I th I to are. this. <clears throat> Who's go, ready? All right. Where else can we go? Space Rogue, you just... Played five questions with us. I did, but I'll play it again. I better have better answers this okay. time. Okay. Three. <laughs> <laughs> go last. He should, should, he should go last. Now. Three he words does. to describe yourself. Who's that for me or Jason? For you. Elite cyber warrior. Winning. If you were a serial killer, what would wait, be your wait, weapon? Wait, wait, wait. Street. Aren't you going to oh, do a round well, back and forth? I'm going to do right. Space Rogue first because uh, if, I, uh, if I go back and forth, I might lose control again. That's yeah. what your wife said. Yeah, but you're going to tip off gonna all the questions. It's going to happen. Jason knows the question. <laughs> if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? King of death. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Zen and the art of media con deconstruction. In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first second. or second? Pick two celebrities to be your parents. Hacking for girlies and masters of deception. Jason, three words to describe yourself. Uh, basic, adorable destruction. If you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Uh, tambourine. If you wrote a book about yourself, what would the title be? Uh, oops, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> In the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, do you prefer to go first or second? Any way you like it, Paul. Pick two celebrities to be your parents. Uh, Jessica Rabbit and Neo. Nice. Oh. Wow. nice. Yeah, that's the best answer of the day, actually, I have to say. <laughs> Over hacking for girlies and masters of deception? Come on. <laughs> wow! So no, I got to give it to Jason. Sorry, Space. Wow. I, mean, uh, I thought long and hard. And you had time to prepare. That's, that's, yeah, man, that's kind sorry. of embarrassing. Space Rogue, Michael, and Jason, thank you very much for the lively <laughs> stories of discussion. <laughs> For which I just get to sit back and drink and have <laughs> cigars, very self-serving to myself. Anytime. And, and you know what? I'm really happy because I didn't have to come up with 
any stories right. of the week. This Have week. Diet Pepsi, we'll rant. Yeah, but unlike <laughs> these guys, I had to work really hard with you guys, but I appreciate it. It was a good sparring <laughs> session. So. I do want to say that 400 episodes for the benefit of the security community is an awesome feeling. People in the security community telling us they got into security because they listened to the show is very inspiring. It's kind of sad. Hanging out with friends wow. every Thursday, thanks, Space Rogue, to drink and talk security <laughs> is a perfect stress reliever. <laughs> Building a podcast for the n- past nine years has been a lot of fun. And losing control <laughs> on episode 400's last segment <laughs> is, in fact, priceless. So Anytime. I thank you guys for that, and I'm but, looking forward to oh, the next 400 well, I episodes. In, I want to interrupt you again once again. No oh, way. I want, to, I want to acknowledge the fact it's like <laughs> that you are one of the things that's right with this community, the way that you share information, the way you try to educate, and the way that you try to be a part of the communication. And and for that, I thank you for that. Paul, I just want to say I've done the podcast thing for a little while, and I think I did maybe 100 episodes. So reaching 400, like that's a um, that's awesome. So congratulations. Thank you, you. it. Thank you very Thanks, much, guys. guys. Thanks, guys. I mean, we bow to you. From, from Paul and I is the original people that started this thing. Where Mike Port was in the bar. I know. And Core Security was the oh, sponsor hey. in episode one in 2005. And, very ep- oh, we, and episode two, Jennifer Stephens prep, uh, you know, Marty got Resch, Marty yeah. Resch to come on. Because we got him back not too long ago, too. Be- yeah. You know what? This has been a wild hey, we, fucking A nine-year ride. journey we, that a is a wild we fucking need to ride. Pour out a 40. You know, Eurotrash just recorded their final episode. So did they really? Network yes. Security Podcast. Network Security Podcast uh, has retired Started this year. Started two weeks before we did. <laughs> and in a bit, Networks, uh, but uh, Eurotrash has... Uh, 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 when did, when uh, did you guys start? Their their what week? We started, we started in October of 2005. That's exactly when I started. But I didn't make it even as far as Space Rogue. Can, can I do a shameless plug then? Yes. yes. No. No. Starting yeah, in no. January, we're going to start our first podcast. And our first guest is going to be the godfather of podcasting. Paul Leo dot. Port? I mean, Paul. Oh. Paul Asadorian. <laughs> Paul Ass. What? Wow. Wow. Paul, Wait, J- J- my, Jason, I'm offended you didn't ask me to come on with that too. My middle name is Dickin. Uh, we're gonna have you on second, Larry. <laughs> He's Paul. Paul Dickin. Dickin. Ass. ass. Dude, dude. It's an Irish name. Uh, and no. a, a very honorable Irish and, name. At and that. Jason, I'm holding you to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely. A hundred percent, dude. Seriously, if you've only listened to the audio of the show, go grab the video. video yes. yes, you have to watch the video. Yeah, it, and I want to say yeah. thanks to the production staff, Chris, Aaron, and Frank, thanks, for making guys. everything happen today. Cheers. We've got a ridiculous setup. They did a great job today. Thank you very much. And like I said, I'm looking forward to the next 400 episodes, and I hope you are too. So with that, that is episode 400. I don't know 400. if I'll live that long. but You, know. <laughs> you have this far. You have this far, Jack. Yeah. Keep keep drinking and making us cocktails, and we'll all live <laughs> much longer because of that. Thanks, everyone. Wait, wait, wait. And we got to do the special outro. We got to do a special outro. Uh, there is a special uh, outro. Yep. Yeah, I, I do want to say that Larry's in my shot. Thank you very much, Larry. Larry's going to take us out and do over and out. We're not doing another podcast Awkward until 2015. So happy holidays to everyone, and have a happy new year, and we'll see everyone in the first week of January. Enjoy the time off. Relax, get some rest. Cheers. It's going to be a wild ride next year, as it always been. So next year we'll be celebrating our 10th anniversary. So I don't know what we're going to do special for that. How do we top uh, this? Thanks, everyone. Larry. He's he's scared. Where's the music go? Ready? Take us out. Over and... Oh, God. There's (laughs) there's tongue involved. (laughs) There was tongue involved. (laughs) Oh, dude. (laughs) Darn it, I'm not, a, I'm not live that. in the I studio. Not see that. Dude. I'm disgusted. Donate to the EFF. EFF.org. EFF. 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 Donate. Go donate now. And yes. buy a Hack Naked t-shirt. Shop.securityweekly.com. Get your Hack Naked t-shirt. Yes, hey, don't forget. EFF donations. It's year-end. Tax deductions. Oh, yeah. <laughs>